from Action Tab World Headquarters. This is T.A. Barnhart with another Tab Report. I think of the term sick puppy now and then when I read something particularly disturbing. It will be something that is not merely intellectually flawed or politically objectionable. It will be something ugly and repugnant something that the person writing or speaking should be ashamed of, but for which he or she lacks the ability. Like this bit of sputum from Victoria Taft. Oslo killer had mind meld with leftist Unabomber. Uh-oh, lefties, what will you do now? She's referring to news reports that Norwegian bomber and gunman Anders Breivik was influenced by Ted Kaczynski's writings. Her assertion here is that lefties, i.e. Democrats, liberals, etc., now have a problem. We have to do something because the Unabomber was one of us. Apparently now, so too is Breivik. Taft's so-called thinking here is fucked up beyond belief. First, of course, Kaczynski is no leftist. He's a mentally ill person. He attacked people in a cowardly way and now he's in prison for being a terrorist. There's nothing political in that. It's how thugs behave. People too immature and selfish to accept other people's rights in this world. Breivik will be painted as a political terrorist, but to my mind, he's a sick man, a vicious bully, a coward. He only used the political to excuse his inexcusable actions. If he had any guts or meaningful beliefs, he would have done something productive. I may dislike right-wing politicians, but at least they are working with the rest of us in a somewhat productive way. Breivik, Kaczynski, McVeigh, the IRA, Al-Qaeda, Shining Path, Weather Underground, the Basque separatists, cowards and thugs, every one of them, absolutely nothing political about them criminals. Inhuman, mentally ill bastards. For Victoria Taft to equate Kaczynski and Breivik with patriotic Americans as she does is for her to show how corrupt her intellect is and how close she is to removing herself from the political landscape. After all, if American liberals and members of the Democratic Party bear a responsibility for the Unabomber, then we too are enemies of America. Following Taft's scurrilous logic, American liberals and members of the Democratic Party are dangerous murdering allies of Ander Breivik and the Unabomber, and we are to be taken down like mad dogs. Victoria Taft's problem is that she's so eager to score points, she has no idea of what she's actually saying. There's no pause button, there's no editing, it's just <gasps> clever thought and let her rip the Twitter equivalent of a drive-by shooting. Victoria Taft is not a terrorist, and she does not support anything remotely close to terrorism. She would never be happy to see atrocities committed by a right-winger to support goals that she backs. I'll even assume that she found the assassination of Dr. Tiller to be an horrific event. The worst she does is encourage her followers to be willfully ignorant and ready to act on raw anger, fear, and hatred. She opposes democracy when it challenges her ideology, but she does so with nothing more than her small mind and loud mouth. I've never seen anything to make me believe she condones violence. But she is a sick puppy. She refuses to even consider extending the kind of decency to me and other liberals, progressive Democrats, etc., that I just extended to her. She's more interested in scoring immediate political points and her ratings than she is in being honest, thoughtful, or part of the democratic political process. She just wants to be right. She just wants to win and she doesn't seem to care about the damage she inflicts along the way. Sick puppy. For the Action Tab, this is T.A. Barnhart. Goodbye.